Hi, my name is Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you really exciting news. I mean really exciting news. I'm doing my first collab and it is with the beautiful Leticia Sanchez and there are other people that are going to be involved in as well and I'll have all their links down below. But in a previous video, Leticia Sanchez went ahead and said that she wants to do like a viewer based project pan. So people at you at home who don't do YouTube channels uh, that maybe just go ahead and project pan on their own or on Instagram could go ahead and pan things with us. And I just think that that's such a brilliant idea. Now, how this is going to work is if there is going to be updates, um, there's going to be, I believe, a f total of four updates and uh, all of the dates and everything will be listed in the description box, so you must check that out. And you email all of your updates uh, to the email address. It's going to be Letitia's uh, email address. And what's going to happen is she's going to go ahead and we're both going to share. Uh, she's going to make it all into clips and we're going to share for both of our videos and show us uh, our progress uh, as well. And if you want to go ahead and participate in this, make sure that you give all of your uh, progress pictures to her. Uh, the Wednesday before each update. So the whole idea is to go ahead and uh, pick four or five products in deluxe sizes. They're going to be okay. Uh, and once you run out of one of those, replace it with something else. And I believe this goes on until March 24th, and that's going to be the finale. Um, I know originally whenever we discussed it, the dates were going to be an update February 10th and February 24th, and then March 10th and March 24th being the finale. So it, um, if that is different, please make sure you check in the description box below. But I want to show you exactly what I'm going to be panning, and it took a long time for me to realize this. Uh, I realize exactly what I want to pan because I don't want to just take things out of my Project 100 pan to go ahead and do this. But I realized with my Project 100 pan, I'm running out of things and I want to stay motivated to go ahead and use certain things that aren't in it to, so I can keep up with things like my skincare. And of course, there's going to be makeup items too. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get started with kind of two really easy products for me. And in here is going to be more than five products for me, uh, only because some of them have such little, just little uh, bit left that I think it would kind of be unfair in a way, but I do want to be motivated to use it up. I have two perfume samples right here. One of them is the Gucci uh, Black, or Gucci Guilty Black, and as you can see, there's not much left in there. And this one I just got from my Sephora Playbox, and it's Tory Burch Love Relentlessly. And this smells so good. I sprayed it one time, and it, is, it just smells delicious. It's, oh, I would definitely repurchase this. I'm just saying. And then, um, next is my Matrix Biolage Smoothing Serum. Now, this was in my first Project 10 pan, but I didn't finish it. But I ended the project because I did finish 10 items. And of course, I didn't mark it, but I will mark it after this. This is where I was whenever I first started my Project 10 Pan in December. And let's see. Right there is where I am right now. There about. So it doesn't really take much to uh, use. It doesn't take much to use. Um, you only need a couple of squirts and that's it. But I want to stay motivated to use this and not have it be stuck in the back of my cabinet, which is why I still have this. Put it this way, they don't even make this anymore. They make the, there's an equivalent of it, but they don't exactly make this anymore, which is sad because I do like that. Also two things, uh, well actually just one thing, is what I did was in my, um, if you've seen my skincare collection video, I had the 10 foil pack of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. And instead of dealing with the foil packs, I took two empty containers that I had from, uh, that I used up last month, and I filled them up with 
the eye cream. Instead of dealing with foil packets all the time, I figured that this would actually make things easier for me. So I was able to fill up two of these. So hopefully I'll be able to finish that up. I'm sure I will. Uh, I'm pretty good with that. Also, um, to keep me motivated with my skincare, I'm going to be using the Renewed Hope in a Jar by Philosophy. And this is a half ounce bottle or a half ounce jar right here. This is brand new. I haven't even opened this up yet. And along with this, which is the Renewed Hope in a Jar, it is the Overnight Recharging and Refining Moisturizer. This is one fluid ounce. I have not used this either, but I need to stay motivated to go ahead and make sure that I'm consistently doing my skincare, consistently taking off my makeup and doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. I need to be held accountable for things like that. And I recognize that about myself. Uh, the next thing that I have right here is uh, Time in a Bottle. It's the Vitamin C Serum. And I've only been using this, I would have to say, for uh, probably about a week or so. And so there's really not much progress. You can see like the tiniest right there. I mean, maybe that's not even, maybe that's just the way. But either way, I use about a pump and a half of, of this. And you're supposed to use this within three months. And I definitely don't want this to go bad or anything. So I definitely want to use this up. I don't want to use this up, you know, I don't want to rush and hurry up and use it, but I do want to use this consistently, and I do, morning and night. Next thing is lotions. I realized that in my projects, my lotions were getting kind of low, um, so what I decided to do was include more lotions. That way, I'm consistently moving out my older lotions and the first one that I've been using every day is the Bath and Body Works Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin and I've been I actually got this last year so it definitely needs to be used up and I know this is a really bad mark but I'm about right there I know it looks like there's stuff stuck on the side but from what I could tell I'm right there and then whenever that's gone I'm going to move on to the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, which I also got last year, and it smells so good. And I'm about right there. I'll mark it whenever I go ahead and um, whenever I start on this, because I don't know how long it takes. For me, it really doesn't take long for lotion, because I do try to go ahead and apply it two or three times a day on my arms and my legs and my hands. Uh, to keep it moisturized especially with the cold weather it's nice to have everything all nice and soft and everything so um yeah and the next thing that i'm going to go ahead and do and please don't feel like you need to do everything that i'm doing um four or five items are just fine but i really want to push myself uh, the next thing that i want to use up is uh, this is the Gwen Stefani palette, uh, the blush palette, which I love. And he, this is the highlighter in Hush. This was in my Project 10 pan as well, but I do want to use this up. And I went back and forth on whether or not I wanted to use this right away because I am working on another highlighter. But what I decided to do is I'll still use that other highlighter, but I'm, um, I'll put it the other highlighter that I have like down the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow but this I'll actually use on my cheeks so that should help me use that up and it's a really beautiful color now this next one I've gone back and forth forth with because I am uh, trying to use up a blush and I know that I won't be able to use this up in the time period but it has been sitting in my collection for too long. I got this a few years ago, two, three years ago, whenever uh, Ulta had their 21 Days of Beauty and it was half off and I couldn't resist. And it's this Too Faced, something about, it's the Sweetheart's uh, Perfect Flush Blush and something about Berry. And it's absolutely gorgeous. However, as you could tell, I've hardly used this at all. I mean, I've used it, but just not much, but I want to consistently use this. I actually want to put a dent in this. Uh, I know that I won't be able to use this up in a matter of a couple months, but it would be nice to get some use out of this 
Maybe I'll find that I don't like it. I don't know, but I like the fact too that it, one of the reasons why I decided to choose this is because this has three colors in it, three completely different colors to it. Or you can go ahead and you can mix it up for a fourth shade. So really, you can't get bored with it. Um, so I thought that that was nice. I, th I thought that that was a really nice choice for me to do. And then the last thing that I'm going to include is this NYX lip liner. And it is in the shade Nude Truffle. And that's about as much as I have left. I just started using this not, not too long ago. I really want to go through my lip liners. I've got this one and another one. And then I'm done with lip liners. I find myself being annoyed by lip liners. And I, I don't really have a problem with uh, the bleeding or anything else. Or uh, lipstick staying in place. Because the lipstick I have pretty much does what it's supposed to do and I've noticed that even whenever I wear like liquid lipsticks or something these just tend to make my lips drier even if I'm using like a creamy lipstick so yeah I just kind of want to just get these out of my collection as fast as I can and like I said I wanted some motivation so that is all don't forget to check um, the description box for all the information as far as the updates who to email uh, for your progress pictures and everything else and make sure that it's the Wednesday before each update so uh, I would really appreciate it if you would all go ahead and participate and so until next time have a good night bye